hi everyone welcome back to the channel hope you're good in case you're coming across my video for the first time i bid you a very warm welcome my name is elizabeth rookie and on this video i'm going to share with you an interview that has lots and lots of revelations so chichi fina and an interviewer chude had an interview and i'm going to be spilling some things one what transpired in south africa between fina groovy and groovy's ex yes so the reason why fina unfollowed six of the ex-housemates including chichi three the revelations she made about the part of the reunion that was not aired to us and then what happened the defamation legal case between herself and chichi how she prepared for it and you know other details especially also from chichi's end now the first is what happened in south africa between fina groovy and his ex that also somehow indirectly involved other housemates so you recall during the south africa trip they all went to south africa together the level up housemates right including beauty and then because fina and cheesy won a qatar trip she had to or she and cheesy had to cut short their essay trip and from south africa they went to qatar okay so they did not stay in south africa until the end of south africa trip they left groovy and the rest behind now fina made it clear that while she was in south africa with groovy she didn't mention his name but she said you know the guy that she was in a ship with that's in bbn right she said that they lived together in the same hotel that they had separate rooms right but they were staying together in one room because you know it's either they are both in a room or they are both in his room so they stayed together throughout the essay trip until she left for Qatar with cheesy and then she said when she left to Qatar with cheesy groovy then called her and told her that his ex came to the room the same room she was with groovy that she left groovy that his ex came to the room to have a discussion with her and she also got to know that some of the housemates were aware that it was it looked as though they were trying to make groovy reconcile with that his ex now i don't even know if this ex is chumsy definitely not chumsy because the news then was that it was chumsy that the housemates are trying to reconcile groovy and chumsy but she said his ex that is groovy that told her that it's you know his ex and that all she did was just come and have a conversation with him that nothing more happened <laughs> that's the gist the groovy gave her and then after hearing all that she got back from Qatar and got to realize that housemates like adekunle chi chi um chomzi even amaka and two other people in brian yes that they were aware of this whole thing and it seemed as though they were trying to reconcile you know groovy and his ex meaning they want to tear groovy and herself apart they don't want them to be in a ship anymore now that is the reason she unfollowed them sporadically she just felt not good about the whole situation felt it was a gang up she even mentioned daniela's name that she was still in talking terms with daniela yes but she just felt like since daniela is in communication with the people that she's not talking with a supposed enemy as a den so she wasn't safe with daniela she didn't feel safe so she also unfollowed daniela so adekunle chomzi chichi amaka brian and daniela are the six person so this is the reason why she unfollowed the six level up housemates so these are two revelations what happened between herself and groovy in south africa and you know why she unfollowed the ex housemates she did not unfollow groovy 
according to her she, she said groovy opened up to her she was in a relationship with him then and he told her it's not like she heard it from another person so she didn't feel the need to follow him but they were good she didn't even have any fight with him over the issue now the second thing i'm going to talk about is um what she said was not shown the clip that was not shown during the reunion so she said chi chi called her names that she did not act unprovoked okay chi chi said she now i'm going to say the words very quickly because they are not nice you can also read it on the screen chi chi said she's an abortionist that she's a drug addict yes she's a junkie also said that she has flat boobs and you know she's shapeless okay these are the words chi chi used and she felt like they were protecting chi chi for not airing it and chi chi was just acting like the victim like she was not provoked that she was provoked to say those words to to chi chi say she has silicone in her head and in her body that she has two children you know that she abandoned that one died yada yada you know, so these you you know what happened during the reunion now about the legal case the charges chi chi leveled against fina she said that when she got the letter she asked her manager that what will happen if she doesn't you know reply or react to it then the manager said or the lawyer said that okay that will mean chi chi will charge her to court okay chi chi was asking for 100 million naira defamation money from fina fina said she was ready you know that she even read up that you know if the person that said that thing acts provoked what will happen so she read that you know since she didn't just say it she was provoked then she's ready to face chi chi in court that she even went to get suit you know she waited for that one week or so to elapse so that chi chi can invite her to court she went to get a new suit but she has not won it because they've not gone to the court so that's a revelation chi chi has you know you know, made charges against her requested for 100 million but they've not appeared in court yet now chi chi spoke about the lawsuits chi chi said she doesn't care about what was said in the reunion you know that fina might have said that just to come at her to make her feel bad because it's a reunion to get highlights but when fina went on and on and on on a snapchat instagram to defame her that is why she decided to you know charge her to court for defamation and now this confirms that chi chi also said certain things during the reunion that was not revealed yes because if she said what happened in the reunion she doesn't care about that that what she cares about is when fina continued on other social media platforms after the reunion that's why she's charging her 100 million defamation so it kind of shows that yes truly chichi said those things now about the unfollowing and following we know they are back as friends because after the reunion she did her birthday and these people attended her birthday okay so let me just give further information just to round up this video chichi was really very calm and teary you know sad in the video she talked about her life that she's been through so much she doesn't it's not easy to heal she would have healed if money can buy healing that she's but fina was really very outspoken she laughed at certain points in the interview she even said she almost threw her plastic can at chichi during the reunion you know so i'd like you to share your thoughts what you think about this this is not all the information when the real video is released i'm going to listen more and share what's happening between them i hope you had one or two takes i'd like you to share your thoughts in the comment section cheers